it's Shodi. Happy Valentine's Day. Today's video is all about love. <laughs> I have um, I have a couple new little pieces of MDF that I got from from Build Across. I'm just discovering this uh, uh, this store. It's an online store, buildacross.com. They have nothing but uh, cutout MDFs wood wood cutouts all that stuff and I'm late to the game but I was checking them out and got a bunch of different shapes and I got these really cute they're kind of I don't know off-center hearts so I thought let's do a Valentine today pour I've got some colors mixed up that'll go nice but another thing that I'm uh, working with is another new paint base for pouring medium surprise <laughs> uh, but I will I will cover that more in another video so stay tuned for that I I did have these colors mixed so I wanted to use them but I didn't want you to think what what is this when you see this this is the one that I'm using it's the Sherwin Williams infinity the base uh, the base C I got it Lowe's I took a trip to Lowe's I don't have one close to me and I grabbed a few different paint bases to test out because I've never really tested out products from Lowe's. I've tested out Menards and Home Depot and I love the things that I use from there. So I thought, well, I love to test, so <laughs> why not? But that's for another video. I will go into more depth with the Infinity, but I'm just going to be using it here for these fun little pours that we're going to do today. So let's go get started. All right, this first one I taped off the back and so I know how big they are. This is eight inch at the uh, the longest base here. So we'll start with the smaller one. Put a little bit of pillow down just so that it'll stick and not fly off. <laughs> However comical it is sometimes, I don't want it to ruin my piece. The pillow we're using today is my Glidden Premium Eggshell. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna... Uh, whoa, a little too much, Jody. I'm gonna spread it out just a little. I've never really done odd shapes before, just circle and uh, square rectangle, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Spread that out just a little. All right. The first color I'm going to lay down is Golden Fluid Iridescent Gold Deep Fine. And here's the consistency of it. And all of these are mixed with the uh, Sherwin Williams, the HGTV Infinity I showed you at the beginning. There will be a snapshot of it at the beginning as well. Or maybe you've used it already, but I'm still just kind of playing around and testing with it. Um, and like I said, I'll, I'll have a more in-depth video soon just covering that because I've, I've tested it with both the Joe Sonia and the Polycrylic. This one is mixed three to one with the Joe Sonia varnish. Right, let's just put a little bit more. That should be good. All right, the second color is by Color Art. It's Black Cherry, the primary elements. And that's kind of what it looks like when it's dry. Oops. Consistency of that one. I can get my hand out of the way. <laughs> A 
this is a really pretty color. I'm not sure. I think they still have it. Uh, but if they don't, I'm sure they, they usually, whenever they, the color art discontinues a color, they usually come out with a, a similar newer color anyways. So the next color I'm going to lay down is by this little piggy. It is Fairy Floss. Oops, there we go. the consistency of that one. And then the last color I'm going to use is, oops, let's move that up a little, is Golden Fluid, how do you pronounce it, Naphth Naphthol, Naphthol Red Medium. And here's the consistency of that. I'm not going to use too much, only because this red tends to take over. I'm, I'm learning that as I go. <laughs> While I absolutely love the red, I don't want it to be the only color in my piece. So we'll just put a little bit. Let's kind of move that over there. The cell activator I am going to use for today is just going to be the Amsterdam Oxide Black, mixed 4 to 1 with Australian Floetrol. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to blow this out, but we are just going to wing it. See what happens. Oh, I got a little bubble in the center there. There we go. Alright, so what to do, what to do. These colors look really pretty together. That looks pretty good. All right. I will meet you over at the spinner box. All right. 
add just a little bit more in case it doesn't go over. At least I'll have white there. I don't mind negative space on these. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work spinning a shape like this. But we're going to find out. Oh, look at that. Ha! Look at how pretty that is. I don't want I don't want to touch it anymore. Do I need to move it anymore? Let's do one more little baby spin. Ugh. That is gorgeous. I don't really have a lot of paint moving. Let's see, do I have it over the sides? Mostly. I gotta get it over the sides just a little. Oh, stop. That is gorgeous. Wow. Holy cow. I've been testing this uh, this base, the Infinity, and I really like it. It's been giving me just a little, it's been reacting weird with uh, the pillows, and at first I thought it was my pillow, but now I'm thinking it's just the, the base itself, and I'll go over that more in more detail um, later on, but I am really really liking this I don't want to move it anymore I just want to get a little bit where I have any sides touch it up just a little all right I am calling that done get over that first one. <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting that at all. All right, this heart is about 10 inches at its longest point. So just for reference or in case you're you're looking for it on their site, the previous one was eight inches. This is uh, 10 inches and I didn't prime them. I was told I didn't have to prime MDF. We're going to find out how, how it works. <laughs> so same pillow just gonna kind of put some on and spread it around that other one seemed to work out well the way I had it so fingers crossed this one works out well too it would be a nice cute little set put a little bit more on over here good. I think that's good. All right, we're going to do the same color, same order, because I cannot get over that one. I don't think I'm going to pour it on this time. Same golden. What is this? This is the, uh, the iridescent gold deep and that's the last of it. And then this is the Black Cherry by Color Art. 
Oh, that was a little thick spot. This one looks a little bit thicker. It's all right, we're gonna roll with it. Just because. Alright. This is the fairy floss, the, the this little piggy. I'm usually not such a huge pink fan. I well I guess I I need to restate that. I like bold pinks, like hot pink or neon pink, but this one is just it makes me just want to eat it. It's delicious. <laughs> if that's a thing. I do like this one. Alright, that's enough. And then I want to keep be careful with the red again. This is the Napthal. Napthal? Napthal? Am I saying it right? The, the golden fluid. The red medium. This is my favorite red. I'm always using it. more over here. I think we're going to be good. Spread that out just a little. Okay. All right, same black cell activator. The Amsterdam Oxide Black. settle in and come together. I lied. One more. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we're going to do here. A little white spot. I'm going to get rid of.
something right there. I think that's good. I like that. All right, meet you over at the spinner box. All right, I'm gonna add just some more pillow just to cover it because again, I don't know how it's gonna spin out. I'm hoping it'll spin out like the last one, but I also wouldn't mind negative space. So I just wanna cover my bases here. do this. See what we get. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, oh wow. I don't want to lose that. What's on the top up there? I'd rather bring it down just a little bit. I might have to spin a little bit off again, but that's okay. All right. Spin. They almost look like a matching set, and that never happens. <laughs> At least not with fluid art. I mean, come on now. Just one little baby spin. much movement in the center although there really isn't a center point like normal paintings I think we're gonna be good and I don't mind that little white spot there not at all I just want to make sure I've got my sides all covered looks like I do I'm gonna call this one done Come on now. All right, well, push me to the edge here. There we go. All right. There's that one. I'm gonna get cleaned up and I'm gonna bring you over for the flyovers of both of them. I'll be right back. Here's this first little heart. Oh my gosh, I am in love. Those colors, holy wow. This is gonna sparkle too, isn't it? I can feel it. I can't wait to see what this looks like dry. It almost looks like there's a ro an abstract rose in the center. All right, here's the flyover of the second one. These colors. This combo, holy cow. I'm gonna have to write this down. <laughs> I don't wanna forget this. Look at this shimmer. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how it dries. There is, there is something to this, uh, this infinity, which is why I've been testing it and testing it and testing it and I promise I will make a video just on that I just wanted to get all right here's both of them I will be back when these are dried to show you the dried results and I'm back to show you the dried results of the hearts you just saw me do can I just say wow <laughs> <laughs> I think you heard me being a little shocked as I was spinning it out. I couldn't believe how well they turned out, but this is the first one. And they dried beautifully. Let's 
see the iridescence shining through. I didn't really, they didn't really shift around either, the, the cells. I'm still working with that, this, this pouring medium. I'm not finding a lot of shifting of cells, which is good because I, it irks me when that happens. <laughs> I can get a better angle of this and get all the, the shimmers but that's the first one I love this and I'm definitely gonna resin these and here is the second one that gold really came through nicely and I'm glad I didn't put a lot of red in it. I just didn't want it to overtake. But these are these are nice boards. I'm trying to get <laughs> where you can see maximum sparkle. And also get it in the in the frame. It's kind of an odd shape. But yeah, these are probably some of my favorites I have done thus far. And I'm definitely writing this color combination down. And I really like these boards too. Again, I got them at Build Across. Uh, I'll put the link to them down below in the description box. I really had a lot of fun creating these. Creating these. And I am really liking this uh, Sherwin-Williams HGTV The Infinity, which I will, I will make a, a video solely on that soon. I just, I had them all mixed up and I wanted to use them as Valentine's Day colors, so... I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.